Hello, my karma babies, how are you? And before I begin my mukbang, I just want to thank all of you so very, very much for all of your well wishes, for um, all of your prayers. I, I, I read all of your comments that you've made on my, uh, my last video. Um, I wasn't able to respond directly, but I did read every single one of them. And, um, you know, doing mukbangs are, it's a small group of people, and a lot of us are learning as we go along. And uh, you hear my cat again, so you know I'm back home. <laughs> he's not hungry, he's not hungry, but he hears me, shh, quiet, quiet. He hears me talking and he thinks that I'm talking to him. Um, but I want to thank um, the mukbang community that came out in force praying for me. Um, to Nappy, she's a mukbanger and she um, held me up in prayer um, with her uh, subscribers. Also, Anna, Anna Marie Mukbang, she uh, came on my page and wished me well, along with hundreds and hundreds of my karma babies. You guys brought me back home, and uh, most of all, and I want to thank God. I want to thank God. I want to praise Him. I want to thank Him for giving me another chance to come here and be with you guys and enjoy this wonderful meal that we're about to have. And I wanna let you all know that I do love you. I heard all your prayers that you typed on and you just prayed me back. You prayed me back. You guys were not about to let me languish in illness. <laughs> so again, thank you guys and um, Let's be prayerful in all that we do and give all the glory to God because that's where it all goes. It all goes to the man up there. I'm telling you, without him, we'd be in a lot of mess. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with this mukbang. Let's get started with this mukbang. I can't wait. When we appeared on the Food Network channel, we shared our recipes with millions of people and now we're happy to share our meals with you. So come on, Karma Babies, pull up a seat, and let's get started. Hello, my Karma Babies. How are you? How are you? How are you? I am so happy, so, so happy to be back here and sharing a meal with you. And let me show you my meal before it gets too cold, okay? Um, I have some... Uh, green peas. Can you see that, baby? Some green peas. I have some butters, uh, butternut squash right there. And I have some orange roughy. That's the fish. Okay, I'm going to hold it back this way. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we have butternut squash, some orange roughy, and some green beans. And I am so happy to be here sharing this meal with you guys. Let's try to get a thumbnail, okay guys? We still gotta get a thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail. Let's see, let's see what we can do. <gasps> see, the fish blends in. <laughs> the fish is blending in with the plate, but oh well. We tried, right? We tried. Okay, so yes, I'm eating some delicious orange roughy. I don't know if you've ever had any before. I love it. I have some beautiful, beautiful green green peas. Beautiful green peas. And I'm gonna dig in. Mm. Have to dig in. I have some bread, just some toasted um, harvest honey grain bread. I'm going to show you what I'm eating, okay? Um, the butternut squash is actually, I got it at Walmart. Grandpa Karma went to Walmart and he picked this up. It's a new item that they have. 
they have a lot of varieties of uh, organic vegetables now, and I love it. It came right on time for me. Um, the green peas are again organic. See? Beautiful. And let me show you the bag that the orange roughy comes in. Uh, we got this one at Kroger, and it's orange. It's called Orange Ruffy, and it is boneless and skinless and is wild caught. It's not, you know, like in a fish aquarium or somewhere where they, you know, grow the fish. It's wild caught in the ocean. See, where <laughs> it's wild caught. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I didn't bring any napkins, so I'm not going to stop, but I'm not very familiar with this butterscot butter, butternut, let's get it right, butternut squash, okay? But I tasted it while Grandpa Karma was cooking it, and it has a very nice taste. My orange roughy, oh, I already know how that tastes. I've eaten that for uh, many, many years, orange roughy. It tastes great fried, or we cooked it in the oven. Hmm. Let me see if I can raise my plate a little bit so you can at least see what I'm eating, huh? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I could eat like this. <laughs> oh, the butternut squash is very good. It has a buttery taste. And like I said, it's organic, right? Mm. This is wonderful. Well, guys, without further ado, I want to thank you guys from the bottom, not just the bottom, from the top of my heart for all the well wishes that you guys sent my way, all the prayers. You guys got me out of that hospital. Yes, you did. As you know, I've been in the hospital for about six days. Mmm. Oh, guys, you gotta try this. I gotta think of other recipes to make with it, too. It's very good. I was in the hospital for about six days. Mmm. Was not a pleasant experience at all, of course, right? It never is. Who wants to go into the hospital, right? Well, I'm going to use this spoon, this fork here, because I don't want to make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. And these peas are excellent. Those are great value. Um, great value or organic it's all or, and guess what the entire bag 12 ounce bag um, $1.88 organic $1.88 you cannot beat that mm. the orange roughy is a little more expensive but it is delicious. So, guys, yes, okay. I wound up in the hospital, right? I woke up like Saturday morning. Felt horrible. So, my husband rushed me to the emergency room. And they kept me for six days and ran a battery, a battery of tests. 
to try to determine exactly what my problem was. Um, I'm going to go more in depth, in depth with that as I do these videos, but I want you to know that I want us to start eating healthier. As I said in my last video before I wound up in the hospital, I knew something was not quite right. I knew I wasn't feeling well, couldn't pinpoint it, but I knew it had to do with my food intake and, and what I was putting in my body. And if you remember, I even said, guys, I'm going to start making healthier meals. Mm -hmm. That's what we talked about in that last video. We talked about healthier meals. We can have amazing food and it does not have to be harmful to you it can be clean delicious appetizing and affordable and that's what we're going to have here good clean beautiful food now does that mean that I'm not going to have a burger or fried chicken? No, it does not mean that. I'm going to enjoy all the delicious food that God has to offer us. And I'm going to do it in a healthy, a healthier lifestyle much, much healthier lifestyle. And we're going to learn together as we go along, you know. I have some organic chicken. I have salmon. We're going to make some delicious meals. We're going to lose weight, become stronger and healthier as the day go by. You know, I thank you guys so much for your prayers. Where did your prayers go? Right up there to heaven. Your prayers went straight to God. You guys brought me back home. And we all know God is at the helm. He's driving. He's driving this train. I might be a train wreck, but he's driving this train. And I am so thankful. So many people went into the hospital when I went in, did not come back out. Well, it came back out, but not on their own volition, you know? I want to be around a long time with you guys. I want to enjoy many, 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 many more meals. Oh, guys, did you notice? I think I spelled subscribe right this time. <laughs> Subscribe and share. Yes. <laughs> um, my health issues that I will talk to you about as time goes on. I don't want to bombard you all, you know, right away with medical this and that. And just know that I'm feeling well and I'm happy and healthy. Um. And I'm not in the hospital but getting poked and prodded and tests and this and that and the other. But my health issues were directly related to the food that I was putting in my mouth. Directly related to something that I that I have control over. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I have to be careful in my chewing and swallowing. <coughs> and I forgot to bring my drink. 
Um, <clears throat> but I talked to, you know, a lot of doctors and a lot of nurses while I was in the hospital and, you know, just picking their brains and just talking with them. And the consensus was that we as human beings, we control, we control <clears throat> our lives to a certain extent, you know. I mean, we don't know when we're gonna go, we don't know when, you know, different things are gonna occur in our lives, but we have so much control over our lives and and what happens to us and, you know, how long we live. We have a lot of control over that. We have a control by what we're putting in our body. Like I said, I'm going to enjoy a burger. I'm going to enjoy a Chick-fil-A sandwich because I know how to make the chicken breast taste just like a Chick-fil-A sandwich. But I'm going to use organic chicken when I possibly can. Please know that. I understand that my hospital stay was a direct, was directly, you know, tied into my food. Mm. Now, when I tell you, when we talk about it as we go along, you'll understand. I'm not a diabetic. I don't have high cholesterol. I don't have high blood pressure. Because, you know, some of the foods that you see me eating in my mukbang, yeah, they may be fatty or, you know, this or that, but that's not my everyday diet. But, I'm about to tighten up my everyday diet, for sure. I am not going to leave this world because I didn't control what I was putting in my mouth. This meal is delicious. It's delicious. These peas have no pesticides. Let's see. Mmm. No pesticides, no, you know what the ingredients are in here? Organic sweet peas. <laughs> now I say it may contain traces of milk, wheat, and soy, I guess because of where they manufacture it. But the ingredients are organic sweet peas. You know, $1.88, I mean, <laughs> If I had gotten a regular bag, a lot of times you will be so totally surprised to see that a lot of the times the organic and the regular foods are the very close in price. Very, very close in price. So, I am so happy that you guys are going to be joining me. We are going to lose weight. We're going to be strong. We're going to have many, 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 many meals together. <laughs> mm -hmm. All these peas are great. And that was my first time eating uh, butter. I can't remember the name. Butternut squash. <laughs> See? Go to the store and get it, babies. Right at uh, your regular Walmart, a dollar eighty-eight. I promise you, you'll like it. And I'm sure you'll find different ways to make it. Because I'm going to. 
They even had organic broccoli. And the frozen vegetables are really good because all they do is flash freeze them, you know. So you're getting, they didn't add anything to them, just flash freezing. Mm. Now this meal was really good. Um, I'm going to finish everything on my plate. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know what? I feel good. I don't feel greased down, bogged down. You know, my husband told me I need to let you guys know. He said, talk to them. Tell them. Your food is supposed to give you energy. Mm, so good, babies. Your food is supposed to give you life. Your food should be full of life. You cannot go around eating food that when you're done, all you want to do is go to sleep. Mm -mm. We are not going out like that. I'm telling you, we're not. We're going to have fried chicken. We're going to find innovative ways to make our fried chicken. And like I said, I can make Chick-fil-A. We're going to copycat other recipes that are out there. Hey, I make a doggone good uh, taco, you know, and my tacos taste better than uh, Taco Bell's tacos. I bet yours tastes better than Taco Bell tacos. And we're going to make us some. We're going to make them healthy. And they're going to be delicious. And we're going to lose weight and we're going to be healthy. We're not going to wind up in the hospital like I did. So, I love this butternut squash. It's really good. Babies, I cleaned my plate. Aren't you proud of Granny? Look at that. <laughs> I clean my plate. Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh God, I ate every bit of it. And remember in the last video, I also said, ask Granny how much she weighs because we're gonna go on this weight loss journey together. I weigh more now. I can't say than I've ever weighed, but for my height, I should not be weighing this amount. Before I went into the hospital, I think I lost about five pounds while I was in the hospital. Cheating. <laughs> you don't want to lose it that way. <laughs> um, I'm going to get on the scale. I'm going to show you exactly how much I weigh. And then, you know, maybe once a week or once ever so often, we're going to get back on the scale and see what's going on. And we're going to lose, lose it naturally. You know, we're going to lose the weight naturally. We're not going to be starving ourselves. We're going to eat three beautiful meals a day, even more maybe, smaller meals. I'm going to come on sometimes and do a little snacks with you that, you know, because I'm going to be eating, eating, eating good, healthy foods. And... Um, they may not be piled up to here, but they're going to be enough to fill me. It's going to be plenty because you know Granny has a good appetite. And I'm not going to have a little poo-foo this and a poo-foo there and poo-foo there. <laughs> I'm going to have enough food to satisfy me, of course, because you know I love to eat. So, anyhow, 
Guys, I'm going to get on that scale for you. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, I'll put it, you know, like here somewhere that's coming up. And I want to thank you again for all your prayers, all your well wishes. I want to thank all the beautiful, beautiful people mm -mm, who prayed for me. I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for sparing me and giving me another opportunity to be here before my karma babies and to share life with them, living in good, clean foods and Oh, Karma Babies, I'm so excited for you guys. I'm so excited to, to go on this learning experience with you, to share all these beautiful foods that we're going to be trying. I'm just so excited. And I hope you are too. So let's get on this scale. We're gonna talk more, and we're gonna talk more about, you know, what health issues that I am experiencing right now, and <clears throat> what I'm going through, and how we're gonna resolve it because we are going to shoot this out of the water, babies. We have a second chance. We have a second chance and we're gonna shoot this out of the water and we're gonna make it so that you never wind up where I was, okay? So, okay, let's get on that scale and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, babies. I love you. I love you. I love you. And God bless you. God bless you. Oh, I'm hugging you. I'm hugging you. I love you. Bye-bye now. Okay, so let's get on this scale. Let's see what this scale is going to say. Let's go there, babies. 154.8. Yes. You know what, guys? I was so excited to get back with you guys doing this mukbang. I forgot to, I only offered you a couple of bites and I forgot to describe my food. You know, I always like to tell you what I'm tasting so you can taste it right along with me. Well, my butternut squash was delicious. It had a slightly buttery taste and um, it, uh, we didn't overcook it. We only had to cook it for about five or 10 minutes. And it, it just was very refreshing. It tasted as though I was eating something that was healthy and good, but it had a very nice uh, buttery taste to it. Had a little sweet taste to it and it was delicious. And my green peas, they were good too. They were very good. You know, you can taste chemicals in your food. Uh, I've always told you guys when I eat chicken that's not organic, I itch. You can taste the chemicals that are in your food. You may get used to the taste of it, but you can taste when chemicals are in your food. And those peas were crisp. We didn't overcook them. They were delicious and I felt good about eating them because I knew that they were good and healthy and had no preservatives or anything like that in them. And of course, my orange roughy, I've had that many, many times. I love the taste of orange roughy. It's a nice um, kind of firm fish, firm but yet very tender and very flaky at the same time. It's a delicious fish. I love it fried and I love it baked. So guys, sorry I didn't tell you while I was eating. I was too busy talking to you guys. I'm sorry, but I hope you stay to the end and you get to hear this. Bye bye guys. I love you. See you in the next video now. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.